Hello, I'm going to show you how to use a VLOOKUP function. So over here I have a table with a list of students and the grades they got for their three first tests. And over here I have another table which is their grading scheme. So what I want to display over here is their letter grade. So for that I'm going to use a VLOOKUP function. So I'm going to hit equal VLOOKUP, just hit tab. The lookup value is going to be the grade that the student got. I'm going to hit comma. The table array is going to be the grading scheme right over here. And then I hit comma. And the column index number is the value I want to display from my table array. So here's my table array. Here's column number one and here's column number two. So I want to display the information in, in column number two. So I hit two, close parentheses, hit enter. There you go. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag this over and uh, display the grades, the letter grades of the students. So you can see that uh, pretty much all of the uh, grades are not displayed. It's showing a not available sign. So let's double click here and see what's uh, happening. So uh, as you can see over here, the uh, reference table, the table array has uh, shifted. So right now VLOOKUP is looking for 90 in the first column of our table array and it's not finding it. Therefore, it's saying that it's not available. So to, pre to prevent this from happening, you can lock the table. So I just wanted to show you, like for instance, if I click here, what happens, like you can see the shift of the uh, table as we drag down. So okay, so to prevent this from happening is you can lock the table. So over here, we're going to put a dollar sign in front of the column and a dollar sign in front of the row. And right over here, we can do the same. You can just hit F4 and it'll put it in the dollar signs for, you, for us. And uh, there you go. So now when I drag this over, it's going to show the appropriate, the, the right, um, in the, the right grades. So here I can just double click and I'll drag it, uh, Excel will drag, drag it down for us. Okay. So let me just explain to you how, uh, VLOOKUP works. If I double click over here, so, uh, this VLOOKUP will take the 76 and it's going to go to the first column of our table array. And it's going to say, okay, is 76 greater than zero? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next uh, row. Is 76 greater than 60? Yes, let's go to the next row. Is 76 greater than 70? Yes, let's go to the next row. Is 76 greater than 80? No, let's come back to our previous row. Now let's take the value the, the value in uh, uh, column number two. So it's gonna take this C right over here. So that's why the C is displayed. I'm gonna do it one more time over here, for instance, with this D. It's, uh, it takes the 62, it's going to say, is 62 greater than zero? Yes, let's go to the next row. Is 62 greater than 60? Yes, let's go to the next row. Is 62 greater than, than 70? No, let's come back down, let's go back to the previous row. Now let's go to column number two and take the value of column, uh, of column number two, which is a D, and that's why it displays that D. So this is how VLOOKUP works. Now I uh, showed you, I uh, have here a uh, wrong table and I did it on purpose to show you uh, because VLOOKUP only works if the uh, values in the uh, column number one of the table array are in increasing order. If the values in the, col in the first column of the table array are in decreasing order like in the wrong table, VLOOKUP function will not work properly. So I just want you, I just want to demonstrate this to you and so you can have an idea of how uh, the VLOOKUP function behaves. So I'll just like that, lock it, enter, and shift that over. Double click here. There you go. So you see, for instance, John, he got on test two, he got a 91. Well, uh, an F is displayed. So obviously this information is wrong. So say you already made this table and you already made a, a table with, in, with the, letter, the numbers in decreasing order. Well, you can fix this. Uh, instead of having to do it manually, you can have the computer, uh, Excel do it for you. Just select the table, go to data, and sort uh, and uh, from uh, A to Z. There you go. So now it fixes it for you and all the information over here is fixed. Okay, so that's just... Uh, uh, th this is just some some ways to use the VLOOKUP function. So over here now we're going to go in some more uh, some some more ways to use it. So over here I made a drop down with a list of students, and uh, uh, right here what I want to be displayed is the uh, college the student is attending and his GPA. So right here I made a table with uh, all of this information. So. Uh, here we have the students, the college, and the GPA. All right, so for instance, right now I have Jerry selected, and I want to in, uh, display his college information. So we're going to use a VLOOKUP function for that. So we're going to hit equal VLOOKUP. There you go. 
and the lookup value is going to be Jerry. So I'm going to hit comma, and I'm going to hit. Uh, I'm going to go to the table array, select the table array, and lock that. So I'm going to hit F4. Then I'm going to hit comma, and I want to display the information in column number two. So I'm going to hit two and close parentheses, hit enter. There you go. So that works. So before I drag this over, I got to make. I got to. Um, uh, since I locked the, the the table array, I also have to lock the lookup lookup value, or else it'll um, it'll change the um, reference cell and uh, won't display the proper information. So over here, when I slide this over, it should actually display Bauer. The reason why is because I did not change this value over here. It's it's still taking uh, the the values in column number two of my table array. So what I want is to actually display the values in column number three of our table array. So I can just go here, double click here, change that to a three, hit enter, and there you go, the proper uh, GPA is displayed. So let's just play around with this and we'll see that there's actually an error in here. Okay, there you go, Chris, nothing's displaying, neither here. Okay, so what's the, the mistake? Well, it's actually the first column of our table array. It has to be in alphabetical order. So VLOOKUP only works if the information in, well, the values in the first column of the table array are in increasing order if they're numbers or in alphabetical order if they're letters. So over here, what we'll do is we'll select the table. We'll go to data and sort from A to Z. There you go. So now it should display the information of Ashley, should display the information of, uh, of uh, Albert, there you go, and it should display the information of uh, Chris. There you go. Okay, so uh, instead of having to manually go in and, for instance, say if you had uh, plenty of columns that you had to fill in, and instead of having to go in and change it into a three and then four and etc., well, a good uh, coding practice, if I can say that, is uh, to actually go in and put in the numbers uh, of the column. If you want to, say you have plenty of numbers uh, in increasing order of uh, by one unit, you can actually drag this over. It rec Excel recognized that you increased it by one unit each time, and so it's going to increase it by that much every time. And you can just bring this back down over here. There you go. All right. You can also do a fill series for that. So right over here, if uh, instead of having the two uh, manually put in, I can just erase that and reference the cell that has a number two in it, right over here. Then I can hit enter, and so now it's referencing cell sheet two, F4. And when I drag this one over, uh, whoops, if I drag this one over, it's going, in this cell, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna show that um, it's uh, linking to sheet two in cell G4. So if I go over here, sheet two, now cell G4 is right over here. So it's a three. It, and so whenever you're gonna, whenever you drag this all the way down, it's gonna, it's gonna constantly follow that uh, straight line of uh, numbers and uh, reference the, the appropriate column that you're looking for. Okay, well, that was it. Hope it was helpful.